and today I'm back here again with another makeup tutorial because I'm gonna be doing my makeup in front of y'all okay so get ready for this this is my like everyday makeup but like I just wanted to talk to you guys so getting ready <sighs> sorry if you could hear that I'm sorry but there's this guy running at the park like back and forth <laughs> it's just like really weird but anyways okay so you guys already know the deal BB cream no, I do you all really? Okay, hurry up, go. Okay, go. They can still see you. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the next eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown, and this is the wrong shade. So I'm gonna be putting this on my brows. This is just my way of doing my brows now. I use it to lighten my brows. So. fam the 12 by the way because I know they watch my videos and it's so embarrassing because you know what they play it when I'm there this happens to me like all the time okay from high school and to college people are still doing that they watch my videos when I'm right there and they know it annoys me like girl I love you too really if mother Kate's the first viewer of this video hey mom and hey, mommy, a nasty. She probably watches my videos too, so shout out to y'all. Okay, so now that you're done with your brows, you're not done yet, actually. I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. I'm not a big fan of this product, to be honest. To be really honest with y'all. So I'm just gonna trace my brows. There you go, girl, they're browner than Trick. Okay, so after you're done with that, I didn't bring any concealer, so I cannot conceal my brows. Now I'm gonna be doing my face. You guys already know the drill. I take this, these two products now to conceal. So I'm taking these two BB creams right here. This is just the Dream Pure BB Cream in the shade Medium Deep and Clean Matte in the shade 530 Light Medium. I use these two because I love them both. So I'm gonna do that. This is very unsanitary by the way, so don't do this if you're putting makeup on a client. This is my makeup, so I put it wherever I wanna put it. It's raining. Then I'm gonna be taking this one and just putting this all over the place too because I like it. So this is just lighter, so. Now I'm gonna be taking this BH Cosmetics 135 and I'm just gonna be buffing this into my skin. To be honest, I don't know if there's a difference between this and the uh, Sigma brush, which I really, really thought it was really cute, you know, Sigma. But then th there's so many alternative brushes, so if you're like me, try BH Cosmetics or Morphe because they're like really good and affordable. And I like this BB cream because it looks like it's a foundation, but it's not. Like, why am I sounding so weird? Okay. For fuller coverage, you pat. And for less coverage, you smear. <laughs> Just buff that in. Like so. Oh snap, is it auto? You're gonna use your, I was gonna use some like cream contour, but I'm like screwed, bro. I'm gonna try this contour cream kit by Anastasia. I'm gonna be taking, uh, which shade will match me? Probably this shade. 
to contour, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. small stipple brush and taking this shade called Har Harvana. Or is it not Harvana? This is like. A I'm just going to be using this to contour. It's like, can you see that? See it? It's all you too bright, bro. So I'm just going to be thingy, majiggy, little snap. Something really natural, bruh. See that, bruh? See that? I'm taking that and just stripping the dot on my place. I'm taking the middle shade called Light Sculpt and just stippling that as well. I'm just gonna concentrate right here. We're gonna set off face. Now I'm gonna be taking my ultimate fave. Um, this is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. And I use this because, you know, I'm not trying to break out. Holy grail. So I'm just going to swirl this in here. And just buff this in. This is the softest brush I've ever tried this from drugstore. Um, Eco Tools Face Brush. And it has a set, so it's really good. So just slightly pat this on. I uh, just purchased the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. This has salicylic acid. That's why I wanted to try it out. Looks like this. And I'm just going to focus this on my cheeks. Or right here. Because. Or like certain areas. This is the BH133. Focus this on there. And this brush is really itchy, bro. I'm not, I'm not feeling this brush. Okay. To be honest with you, this brush is the itchiest one. It's the most itchiest. Okay, now we're going to be taking the Lorac Pro Palette, and this is my fave, because I only have one. But I like this, as you can tell, I hit pan on this long time ago, but I'm going to just set my contour with light contour, light contour, and just buff that into my forehead too, because it looks really light. I love this blush palette from Tarte. Me taking this shade, this orangey shade right here. I love it. I love it so much. And I'm just gonna be putting this on my cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna take the rimmel because we're gonna start slow. Okay, so we're gonna take this and concentrate on here. Contour our nose a little. It's a little more orangey. We're taking this BH 101 brush. Dude, I have so many BH brushes and they're really good and affordable. So, so I think that's the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed um, every day routine slash face routine. I'm not gonna put every day because I already did this one. The end of the video. The video and someone's coming downstairs, so they're probably gonna talk to me. Talk to you guys later. Bye guys.